Oh my goodness, we should get these for the kids. Look, they're emojis. We should get these for the kids for pudding. Look, they're emojis. And there's four of them. Wonderful, but we have a lot of puddings at home. But they're emojis. Yes? Come on. No. What? Eat it. Yeah, but eat it. I think they'll. Come on, they're emojis. They'll get a kick out of them. It's just me with the boys. We're having breakfast. Hello. <laughs> My Hello. two little early birds. The girls are still sleeping. We're not early birds. We are. It's only seven o'clock. Um, I mean, this is normal time for us to have breakfast, but the girls, I think they went to sleep. Well, Amelia definitely went to sleep a bit later last night. She was a bit, a bit naughty. Um, and she got out of bed kind of late. I think it was maybe like, eight o'clock or something she was still that's not not that that's late but you know what i mean i know um so the boys eduardo was up actually before six and andrea was up at about half six maybe ish quarter to seven so that was fine um so we're gonna have our breakfast eduardo would you like your cross on yeah. it's on your place it's not blue eyes that one has green and blue eyes good morning lb you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute though. And Celia. <coughs> and Theo. Go have your cross on. They all love you, they can show up. It's because I feed them. They love whoever feeds them, see? What would you like for breakfast, Eduardo? Wheat a bix, as usual. As per usual. Yeah, and then do you want wheat a bix as well? Andrea, <coughs> I reckon you would have wheat a bix too, right? Yeah? You want Weetabix as well? He doesn't know. He doesn't like porridge. He's like a Amelia what? in that way. What? I said he doesn't like porridge. He's like a Amelia in that way. We have a lot of snacks. I need to prep for Andrea's birthday. I mean, pretty much everything's done except I wanted to get some invitations. Not that I'm even inviting. What am I doing here? Um, not that I'm even really inviting a lot of people and everyone that's coming knows that they're coming and have RSVP'd like there was it's not even a formal thing you know what I mean but I just want because I have invitations for all of the kids first birthday party so I just want to have that oh you finished good morning boys and girls welcome to the vlog so this morning, um, I'm uh, actually, you see the door there? I've never been happy with the door since renovation and I decided to uh, change out the door. Uh, from the same time when I decided to upgrade the kitchen with the mantle, I got in touch with another carpenter to uh, make a Victorian period door, like the ones that we got made up for when we put through the sitting room wall and we got those doors made up, well, similar. To that idea so it's like one of those like double opening parting doors anyway I'm trying to see if it fits doesn't fit so I'm just doing a little bit alterating uh, but then I decided what we should probably do is put in some of the footage that we actually managed to film um, um, on like Thursday or Friday but we ended up using most of the stuff from the weekend because I know you guys wanted to see that so uh, I'm gonna put some of the stuff in here there it is she's like Look, how cute is that? Look, she's like holding him up. And she's like pushing him along. No, oh, hasn't worked. <laughs> well, a minute ago, that was really cute. She was like pushing him along. So look, I've taken the door off. This is the door that we that was put on, the glass one. But uh, this is this is what we want to put instead. Because um, they're really pretty, kind of like the, the way we have the opening there. Um, I really like these kind of doors. So, so that should be what it should kind of look like this. Um, I just think it's just it just kind of pulls together better than this sort of glass door, you know. Um, I just think it look nicer as uh, it come true. What do you think? Tots, tots. But yeah, that's my little uh, project. Number one is built. We're just in the middle of building this. Small iron hail. Small bit of a, a boo-boo there. You should have you should also uh, supply 
the Allen key, which is needed. But we have Allen keys, so we should be okay. I brought a king with me. Never this before. Making it up as I go along. I think I'm doing it right. <laughs> I don't even know why people even go to university or school anymore. Just watch YouTube videos. It teaches you everything you need to know in life. This is going to scrape up all this brown stuff. So I feel like we need a little like, there's a before, so you can see all the brown and all that stuff there. Um, is this gonna be better or worse? Let's go. All right, little test section has been completed. Uh, it looks a hundred times worse. <laughs> Look at the amount. That it like is pulling up like it's that crazy like this isn't cutting the grass this is just uh, pulling up like the thatch that's crazy I wonder can you like make a roof out of all this but now that all the thatch has been lifted up it'll give a chance for the grass to actually like breed and grow and get some of that irrigation you can still see it's so thick there I think I need to actually like run over this a few times to get to the, to the real depth of it but this is a, like a test, you know what I mean? I'm, um, I'm testing this so you don't have to. <laughs> Just leave it alone now for a week or two. And if this starts to grow really green without any of the brown tatch stuff, we're onto something, we're onto a winner. Don't mind my crazy hair. I know it's like half straight, half curled, but I slept on it last night and sweated a lot. So it just kind of like the curls dropped out, but I'm gonna fix it before we go out tonight. Anyway. Um, so update on the cooking situation. So I've been just um, preparing all day. So here we've got the chicken, which I just pre-cooked a little bit. Um, I've cleared out my fridge as much as I can. We've taken out the water filter. So we've got the chicken here. It's like an assortment of uh, wings, thighs, and drumsticks. And then I've got the corn on the cob, which I did cook up as well. We've got brown rice on the go here. And then these veggies are gonna be going in to the brown rice as well. We've got potato salad happening as well. Here are the ingredients for that. I'm gonna get started on my fruit crumble, which I'm excited about. I've got all my apples here. I think I'm gonna double the recipe. Eduardo, hey, come here, do you wanna help me? Okay. Okay, so this is my crumble filling that I just made. So this has coconut sugar, uh, cinnamon, and what else is in here? Where's my recipe? <laughs> Coconut sugar, I just got this recipe from online. The website was Kind Earth. Um, so it's gluten-free, vegan, uh, let's see, coconut sugar, oh, cinnamon and vanilla, that's it. And then these are the ingredients for the topping, which is here, actually it smells and looks amazing. So I'm gonna add that to the top. All the doggies are around because they want food. Um, okay, I'm gonna add that on top and then bake it in the oven. Look at the amount that's coming out though. That's crazy, isn't it? Look at that. Where is all that coming from? It's almost like I'm drawing across the garden. That's mental. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a line. What? Like, <laughs> look at that. It's like we've drawn a line across the garden. Um, it's funny because a lot of stuff there, not as much in this section in the middle, but over here was like a haystack. Like look at the levels, the levels and the layers over here. Oh my goodness. Okie dokies. Uh, look at the amount of like, <laughs> of, uh, of the tax stuff that came out. Like, look at that. Like, what the heck? Look at the amount of it. It just blows my mind. What I'm hoping is that what it's done is it's put, like it's ripped everything up and kind of put air holes and everything so the grass 
um, we'll start to be able to breed and get the nutrients and the rain and stuff like that. Like that's the plan anyway. So Amelia and I are making fruit kebabs. How good are they? And Amelia's doing her own one. Do you want to put some more on? You can do another um, grape or a pineapple if you want. What do you think? Or Amelia, donut, donut, cross on chocolate. <laughs> donut, donut, cross on. Well, they're being bar. dipped in chocolate. Have we got authentic? I'm making a chocolate dip. Good girl, Amelia. So that can be your one. The one with two grapes next to it. Is that yeah. you know it's your one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well done. So you know, good. Imagine like um, grilling them or something. Okay, I am exhausted. Everything is in the fridge. Crumble is done. That's the crumble. Amelia and Eduardo are polishing off the end of my can chocolate I, dipping sauce. Yeah, you can. It's for sharing. <laughs> Do you like it, guys? So, this is my chocolate dipping sauce. It's made with avocado, cocoa powder, maple syrup, and almond milk. Super healthy, vegan, gluten-free. Um, and then I'll show you guys the rest of our fridge because it looks <coughs> crazy right now. So, in here, we've got the chicken. We've got the potato salad we've got corn on the cob that's just leftovers from last night spicy rice shallots to add to the potato salad and, um, the chicken is gonna be very yummy yes and look what else we've got up there can you see that far up we've the got our bag. fruit yeah exactly and now we're gonna cling film that chocolate sauce and put it in the fridge No, 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 don't put your finger in. <laughs> you can have this. A little extra bit there. Okay, and Alessia there with Daddy. So cute. I'm on the tractor, and Daddy's putting out hay, and this is what it looks like. This would be easier if I had a fork, Eduardo. If I was a real farmer, I'd have a fork. Farmer Jonathan feeds the animals. Do you remember that video, Eduardo? Yeah, we <laughs> ate some animals and we jumped. Yeah, do you remember that? Look at him. That's Andrea. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah, look at we can see, we can see. We can see. It's Andrea. We can see. We can see. Let me the whole place ready. That's Andrea. Baba, do you look at yourself? Who's that? Oh, Baba. Be careful because there's a bee. And there's a bee. So Eduardo somehow has actually ended up buried <laughs> in the uh, the gator, the Gatorade, uh, buried in here, Mister. <laughs> Okay, I've got the first part of the door hung. Nice. <laughs> but I've had to just leverage it up with this thing because it's a little bit off the ground and there's only one of me. <laughs> the moment of truth. Will the door close? So we got the door done, then after I did the door, I was like, what else really bothers me? Around the house, well, this step really bothers me, so I ended up pulling up the step and everything. <laughs> oh, this is what happens. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, re-renovating the house, guys. Renovation part two. <laughs> we are going out, uh, Albie. Just make sure to put them to bed tonight, okay? It's not hair washing night, so don't worry about it. Okay? Don't. Look at his top with his face. Don't mock our babysitter. He's been a good solid babysitter for years. Alright guys, who's in charge? 
Thank you. All right. I'll be in charge. Well, you can be second in charge. All right. Good job. I'll be, I'll be get your spoon now. I'll be get your spoon. So we're sitting here in the car because Jonathan is posting on Instagram and can't Big figure moment. out where the emojis are because he never posts emojis. I don't. Well, you've got a bit better. Yeah, I, I, I try. I try. It's my influence. Jonathan posted the best Instagram ever today and he was trying to think of a caption and then he was trying to think he was trying to find out where the emojis were and I had to tell him where they were and then I had to basically coach him through which emojis to pick and then we went into hashtags and this is all very complicated. It is very complicated. You know, what's the word I'm looking for? Process. But guys, I have some exciting news. I am about to peak. I'm about to enter my inter. Inter. I'm about to enter my peak decade. Yeah, so apparently I just read it somewhere, so I can't remember where it was. Apparently men peak in their 40s and women peak in their 30s, which I think is so depressing for women and I am just going to say that's not true. For well, women. Cuz it's not we fair. We have a lot I of know, viewers actually, of different ages. You know what? I know women. loads of women in their 40s that look incredible. So, I don't know, maybe that's like an old school thing. Yeah, maybe. It's no circumstance. I definitely feel um, a lot better. Like, I feel like I, I, I do seem to be improving with age. Yeah, that's what I mean. But then I'm like, well, I'm 31, so I don't want my 30s to be my peak years because then that just seems like that's quite short. Like, 10 years when you get to a certain age is not long, you know, anymore. Yeah. You think it true. is, and then it's not. Ah. Well, we're both in our 30s. <laughs> you know, we're basically, we're basically the barely same age. barely barely there okay we're basically the same age <laughs> you're a cradle snatcher cradle snatcher yeah you snatched me from the cradle when i was 19. that's a baby just comments if you have if you are a man in your 40s <laughs> there's no know. men in their 40s watching oh. how, how how's peak how's peak life <laughs> how exciting for us um. i feel like it depends on the person, really. Uh, oddly enough, if you've been watching me, my videos for a way long time, I put up a video years ago, two part called Pursuit of Happiness. And I think that because I went on my pursuit of happiness at like 25, right? Like I left my unhappy life, my unhappy relationship, and my unhappy existence. And I went out to sort the life that I thought that I should have and I went and I restarted my life again, which is really hard to do. But because I did that so long ago, I feel like I am reaping the rewards of that now, that I made that like struggle and commitment so far, so long ago, you know? And that's yeah. why, but I think if I was now, today, unhappy in my relationship and unhappy in my career and unhappy with my life choices, I feel that, like I'm so far down the line of life that it, would, it definitely would be much harder to make that change now. You know, so I might look a little different and I might act a little different and I might think a little different. Yeah. You know? But I think the earlier you can you can find yeah. something that makes you happy. Find find yourself. Find your peace. Yeah, I think I found myself probably well, it's a process. You're finding yourself. But I think no, I think like when I hit thirty I just remember feeling like good about myself you know yeah no had I met you like after 30 five years earlier than I met you I would have ruined our relationship I wouldn't have made it work had I become a parent I would have been 14 oh, okay okay well, that so, definitely wouldn't have worked that's like that's a child okay no but I mean like if you're, the same age, if you're 31 now right yes. when I was 31 okay I had no children Okay, we were living together in Dublin. I think I was working in that uh, studio. Mm -hmm. well, I think we'd started, yeah, I think I started YouTube vlogging. Yeah. But like, I just, I just don't think I, I had, I was mentally ready. For what, for children? For what, oh. for what you have. I don't think I can do what you Oh, did yeah. 31. But then I was always like, um, mature for my age, mm. kind of, you know what I mean? I was a late bloomer. Yeah, so I think you kind of meet in the middle. Me and Eduardo. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I feel like, well, I had kids before all of my friend group did. Yeah. So they're all kind of starting to have babies now when I've finished. Um, you see, I was late because I did the pursuit of happiness. But yeah. 
that but knocked then, me back like five years behind everyone. Yeah, but then I didn't do like the career thing really, and I feel like I started to find myself after I had my first baby. Mm. I don't you think? Yeah, yeah, like, probably. I think that you was found like, a thing, you know. Yeah, like definitely getting pregnant with the media kind of saved me in a way, and like before then, I just didn't have a clue what I like. I was so insecure. Mm. Um, yeah, that was like me before I went back to university. Yeah. And, and I all was, of a sudden I felt like a loser. Yeah. And then suddenly in university I was amazing. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> when did this happen? This is exactly it. Like when the kids came to me the other day, Amelia, and she was like, what's your talent, mommy? And I was like, <laughs> making babies. <laughs> she was like, mine's cartwheels <laughs> and singing. <laughs> I said organizing then. Yeah, but some people, <laughs> some people do define themselves and then the babies or the career, the talent and then the babies and then the family. You did the babies I first. I didn't know. So I didn't now, know that that was going to be it. Like yeah. I didn't go out there thinking like, yeah, I'm going to have like four kids. Like I didn't know until I had my we first. We always said that I, if, if I had the time, I'd go back and find the clip of us driving through the keys in court and with Albie and saying yeah we're not gonna have kids I know and then when I had Amelia I was like this is literally what I was meant to do with my life yeah so there you go you never know what it's gonna be because it might just come and take you by surprise yeah we came to Joe Malone to get the actual smell this is the one we got oh yeah maybe that yeah like maybe this? a little yeah maybe a mini one Mm -hmm. taxi. Oh, that worked out well. There's actual Joe Malone in our town. And I went in and we got lots of scents and candles and things. And Joe Malone are bringing out this new uh, circular device thing. Because I was saying, what about a diffuser for a car? Because a lot of like, you know, like a car. She said it's for like uh, walking work. Walking work. I work in the car as well. But anyway, you know, a lot of like car air fresheners, they just like, like new car smell. I don't know. I'm not a fan like. I so I hope that this, anyway, it's going to come out next month or something like that, so keep an eye out for that. This way? Oh. Regional. We're going regional. Regional. We haven't been here in ages. Huh? Opens at 6. Oh, no. Let's go to green. Let's go to giggling squid, though. No, look. Oh, look, yeah, closed. Oh, uh, giggling squid, then. Food has arrived, guys. Ready, ready. Oh, look at that Thai green curry presented in some sort of little bowl. <laughs> it's good. We, you know, we didn't even need to film. We could just take in our date night from a few weeks ago when we went here and just repost it because we got like basically the same food, sat at the same table. It was probably the same. Time. Could you not give us something different? Mm -hmm. oh. Come here. Do you want some? Uh, do you want some? Uh, it's very special. Um, let me just let me just get the focus here. Garda. It's Garda. Do you want some uh, Garda? I hate Garda. <laughs> Nobody's called Garda. Nobody, only Irish people get the joke. No, You guys don't get the joke. Garda. Garda drinks. Oh my goodness. Okay, this wasn't a plan. This wasn't a plan, but guys, spiced fruit buns. How long has it been? How long has it been? It's happening. It's happening. Am I just getting four of them? I feel like the more I get, the more I eat. I found it. Look what I found. <laughs> I don't know why, but that reminds me of Alessia. <laughs> what? Oh, they have donuts. This place, huh? Have any of you guys ever heard of this M and S? <laughs> oh, look how cool this all is. I feel like we've gone to somewhere new and exciting. This is the most craziest date. Oh, is it? Oh, he's a cute little dog. Anyway, this is the most craziest date night, guys, you've ever had. Why does it not Oh, there you go. Oh, we're new here. We're new here. Hi. Sorry. First timers. First timers. How does this work? This is for a crumble that Anna's gonna make us tomorrow. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh yeah. Look. There you go. One. Uno. Nope. I'd like to pay my card. Um. Please follow the instructions on the pen pad. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed a bit of a mixy mashy stuff, but I had the the scruff scruffifiers scruffifying.
I think it's called something, something like that, um, footage, and I just really wanted to put that out there because I think it's really interesting. That was last week. You can already see a bit of a difference. It's rained a few times, and um, <laughs> do I just like that? Um, it's rained a few times, so the grass has actually started to uh, feed. Anyway, don't waste your time talking about that because the video's gone over super long, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, do you guys, I, sometimes I, I've, I've heard a lot of feedback from you guys that you really enjoy when myself and Anna have these like kind of conversations that we capture. So I know in yesterday's video I left in a long one and the Izzy conversation, so I decided to leave in this long conversation. Normally I would have like edited that up to a small little bit, but I think you guys like um, sort of just like listening and just kind of having that conversation with us. So if you like that, I can leave them in. Um, I think they're interesting. Um, anyway, thanks for watching the video guys. Give us a like, give us a comment, give us a subscriber. <laughs> give me one of your subscribers. Give me a subscriber. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow, is it? Thursday? Yeah, one more, one more. Oh my God, tomorrow's episode, guys. I just filmed it a few minutes ago. I didn't film the episode. I just filmed something a few minutes ago. It's a big one. Tomorrow is a big one, guys. Something happened today. Tomorrow is a big one. Don't, don't miss it. Thou miss it. Thou miss it. It'll be the, uh, how many times have we filmed that video? We filmed it a couple of times. I know, I know. Together we're strong.